three margaritas. I'm going to put it in my puss. Okay. Wow. Now we're getting somewhere. Now you've scored. You're getting laid, but three margaritas. Welcome to the Chip and Cern Show, the podcast about everything and nothing at the same time. They were possibly separated at birth, only to be rejoined to create the sweet sounds that will caress your deepest cochlea. The show is real, random, rant-filled, and ruthless. Please be warned that this show may hurt your feelings, offend your grandma, and even kick your dead dog in the balls. So get ready, and let's get this shit started. This shit has started. I'm Chip. I'm CERN. And you were listening to the Chip and CERN show. Yes, once again. Or possibly for the first time. Somehow. Well, Somehow. S- yeah. We, uh, CERNY, you know, I mean, the, the, the CERNY sluts and the chipmunks know we're, we're what you call tastemakers. You know, when we, uh, <laughs> there's a, if there's a, a, a trendy movie that comes out or, uh, you know, a, a banger, a summer, a summer smash hit song we we know we got to turn you all onto it um and i think we got something red hot on the hands right now hot off the wires getting into summer we got a anthem of the summer <clears throat> nothing nothing says summer like a margarita or a nice no. nice no. fresh <laughs> bevy. nice refreshing margarita now this will we'll give you a little bit of backstory to this um the this uh, uh, meme song that we're speaking of called the Margarita song right. is uh, there was a uh, some sort of video going around of a woman in her sinister Cindy is her name I looked her up I oh did a little, I, did, I did a little search for you did a little research <laughs> yes nice sir. okay so <laughs> first time ever sinister Cindy was doing she basically had a PA and a microphone and she it looks like she's at like a on the quad in some college campus or something, right? She's like, uh, she's doing the message. It's uh, the Ho No Mo Revolution. I don't, I don't really know. The, oh. She encourages students to follow the Christian God and the Ho No Mo Revolution. Oh, so don't be a Ho No Mo. Yes. Okay. So she's out there in the video that I saw, like someone's clearly watching her. She's kind of in the quad and there's hundreds of college age Mm-hmm. men and women there listening and it starts and it says if you give uh one margarita she's gonna open her legs and yeah. she like screams like open her legs yeah and this is a 65 <laughs> year old looking woman who's like just looks like a fucking spinster for sure right yeah yes and <clears throat> She's like open her legs and everyone's like, Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, I know. Yes! I'm like, you you realize the fucking audience you're talking to is a bunch of oh, drunks <laughs> who are just horny drunks. Uh probably probably hundred percent horny. Everybody in that audience. Oh yeah, hundred percent. And I'm gonna say fifty percent have gotta be drunk. Oh, for sure. At at that moment in time. And then she goes on and she says, At two margaritas, she'll she'll like pounce on pounce on you. A show pounce on your penis. Pounce yeah. on your penis, and then the the crowd cheers again because this is getting more exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get a little right here, and then it goes to to three margaritas, and the three margaritas is uh, she's going to put it in her puss. She's going to have uh, vaginal intercourse with with you, uh, and then met with even louder. Like the screams oh, are, yes. are ratcheting up with the margaritas. So three, you're gonna get laid. <laughs> Four margaritas. She's then, gonna. But I like how she's in the video. She's like then after, and then she's like doing the drink thing. Like <laughs> yeah. and they start counting one, two, three. Four. <laughs> well, this video is you gotta you gotta see it. Um and yeah, so she then she sure. drinks back four margaritas, and the the crowd's chanting one, two, counting along with her. She goes, she's gonna put it in her ass. And she bends over and like kind of like does the fake invisible dildo up the up in, the, in the up ass, the ass yeah, thing. And I mean, you would have thought it was like Michael Jordan game seven of the finals, <laughs> like with the with the shot, like everyone just went crazy. <laughs> yeah! And and then she went back and she slugged down a fifth of these uh fifth one. They got fifth Margaret. Crazy. And then she said, and then she'll fuck you in the ass. So she'll do yeah. some pegging. She'll put on a strap on and peg you. <laughs> and peg you. <laughs> yeah. Still met with a ruckus applause. But, um, and I was, you know, 
I've lived in San Francisco for 10, 12 years. I've seen, I've heard all, seen all sorts of crazy things like this. So the lady herself wasn't that oh, crazy. They used to go to, they used to go to, when we went to Sac State, they were out there all the time. It's a really interesting, I, I mean, you and I were business people. I got to think their conversion rate from like impression, like somebody hearing their, their word, the message that they're trying to get to actually converting, it's got to be pretty low. I think, right? Yeah, I'm going to think, especially in that kind of an atmosphere. Like zero? The, the only people they actually probably get to quote unquote convert are someone who already follows oh, the, the guidelines. They're just, so they're just I, resigning. I think in up. their mind, like I've saved a youth, but I, I would be willing to bet they probably all have already follow the rules or have those type of values. Yeah. That's, a, that's everybody a, else that just wants to live their life. They, you're, I'm going to say it's zero. I, it has to be zero. Like I don't, I don't see how, even if you're, um, you know, you're, you're not, uh, you're whatever you're on the fence about, well, should I, should I have sex? Should I not? And then you're like looking and you're like, well, this lady's sounding really crazy. <laughs> She's screaming. And then the there's show. everybody else who seems to really like fuck it. <laughs> I don't know, but that's just me. Maybe. So uh, this this sort of clip of this this uh, what was her name again? Sinister Cindy. Sinister Cindy makes the rounds, and someone turns it into what we're calling the 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 smash head of the summer. It's got to be called one margarita. Um, it's a banger. And, it's catchy. Uh, it's catchy. Can't start playing it. It's got. I could start playing it. I don't know. You can't hear it though. That's the weird. Can you hear that? No. 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 Yeah. Said, so give me some tequila. I'm going to give you some head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Give me one margarita. I'm going to open my One margarita. Open my legs. Okay. Yes. So far, this uh this matches up with real world experiences with involving margaritas. I'll just say. Give me two margaritas. I'm going to give you some head. Two margaritas. Give you some head. There we go. Nice. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Three margaritas. I'm going to put it in my puss. Okay. Wow. Now we're getting somewhere. Now you've scored. You're getting laid, but three margaritas. That's that's a lot What's, also. That's a lot of what margaritas. What size margaritas? The goblet sizes or just the glad tumblers? Yeah, maybe, maybe keep it a short one because if you had three of the... Hopefully not those margaritas where they put the Corona upside down. You <laughs> oh know. man, those, those are dangerous. <laughs> yeah, three of those. You're instead of that might, being that might head, you'll be dead. Down. Yeah, might not knock me down. Let alone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my wife looks lightweight. All right, so three margaritas. Gonna put in her puss. Four margaritas. I'm gonna put it in my tush. There we go. There we go. Now Just one more. That's all it takes. Just one more margarita to take it from the P to the A. The, <laughs> from the V to the A. Now, five margaritas. Five margaritas. Have some five margaritas. I'm going to put it in your bum. <laughs> wow. See, when I, when I, for, I, see, I heard the remix first and I was like, oh, that's kind of weird. Yeah. Five margaritas. Are you going to me? But then when I saw the, the actual, the, uh, the original, sense. she got it. I was like, ah, okay. Now that it all makes sense. It all makes sense now, but we'll put, uh, we'll put it in there. So when you're actually listening to the show, it will all make sense to you. But, um, Sounds uh, like a hit. We were playing, so I was playing it. It's too good. I played it for my wife yeah. first. Big fan. I, first, you know, I got the first. I was met with an immediate eye roll, of course. But then I noticed I could hear it in the other room after a little. Bit. Oh, like I, I was like, oh, we're. So I come in there and like, did she's she like, try to turn it off is, real quick? Oh, well, she's like, this song is too catchy. So then Jeffrey was in the room and he's like, oh, no. he's like, he's like doing his head thing. He's like. <laughs> And then he's like, "Wait, what is she saying?" I was like, "She's about to have talk about having a good time, baby." <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need to know. <laughs> Gonna put it in my puss. I mean, I think you can go. You can skip. Like one margarita is a good unlock. I would say that's a good to, yeah. on the try to get laid like path. That. Margaritas is a pretty safe bet in my five, though. I saw like people were making their own videos. Like, there's this guy walking in, and, like his wife's like laying in bed, and she has like five empty margarita glasses. He's, oh, like, yeah. How many margaritas you have? Five. I'm sleeping on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it's getting it's getting the meme treatment as as everything tends to. There was another one. I I I 
I lost it before I could send it to you because I refreshed by accident. Oh yeah. It was like Sinister Cindy. She's like, oh, and it was like it was like the title was like I feel attacked. And it was like all of you guys do all day is look at the porns, whacking the wiener. <laughs> I was like, oh. Like, yeah, so I, I, feel atta- I feel attacked. <laughs> Why are you personally coming after me? <laughs> oh, the sinister Cindy. She's gonna. She's gonna definitely be on some some more radio shows here coming up. I'm. I'm yeah, sure she like. I saw her. She her. like clipped this like the the remix and like put some sort of like Bible verse over top of it. Others <sighs> spreading the word of Del or some shit. I was like, oh man. <laughs> she's uh yeah. That's a tough. That's gonna be a tough one to to counteract the wave of uh of she's that. got a pretty catchy song that's she, the only way that i would embrace that. that you need oh, a yeah. so you need like a virgin like a cool virgin song if there ever such a thing is then yeah well do, do you remember when there was I, i'm sure they still exist but those like virginity rocks shirts mm-hmm. yeah 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 i, I, I think they yeah they I think I still seen it around sometimes. I was like, "The hell!" So they try to make it like a thing that if you're a virgin, you you kind of rock one of these shirts. But it kind of yeah. it did sort of catch on. Like I would see it at schools. Every you know. Yeah, I remember they, there was like some club at our school. Remember they had like rings or something. It was something weird. I remember oh, like too. It was like purity. I think that's a Mormon thing. I thought. Well, our school. Oh yeah, had that's a, a good point. Fair share percentage. <clears throat> So I think you're right about that. But yeah, it was something weird. I was like, huh, okay. But yeah. Whatever. So. Zone. Yeah. No, whatever. But, I just uh, don't, the, the, the need to go out there and, and, uh, preach your values like that, you know, the bullhorn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking quad. It's like, okay. It's nice. like, do you listen to anyone, anybody with a bullhorn shouting at a mass of people who aren't really paying attention? Low conversion rates overall. I would think I would have. Yeah, to especially think. when I remember the remember in Sac State. I remember this one because you you were quite confused and actually engaged with this one. Remember they stopped us and said that we were going to hell because we were f- sports fans. Oh, and f- fornicators. And I remember you going. I remember you stopping going. What? What's it? Sports fans. Because <laughs> like, we had a baseball like, hat on or something? Yeah, yeah. I think we had like Giants hats on or some shit. I remember you going, what? And they were like, you're going out because you like sports. And you're like, ah, explain that to me. <laughs> <laughs> like, where is this? And they, they went the whole idolizing fault Scott. Oh, like okay. <laughs> back, this is back when the Giants sucked. So I wish there was a little more God like action. I wish there was a false the God to <laughs> idolize on the Giants at the time. That's hilarious. It's, it's Barry Bonds. Where's number 25? <laughs> <laughs> He's being blackballed from the Hall of Fame. Uh, well, I actually I had a run in today. So my my wife and I. One of the great things about working from home is like it's like oh you want to go out and do a little ten minute walk like just walk around the block ten minutes Ooh, get some yeah, sun f- stretch the legs like so many studies this is all good blah blah so we go out for a walk and we're coming back <clears throat> and there's two separate groups that we pass of old old ladies. And when I say old, I'm saying 65 plus. And they all have bags and they all kind of have like a little like a binder folder. And I'm like, I know there's, what there's I know what they're doing. Good coming from that group. I know what they're doing. They're going around and they're either like Jehovah's Witness or something. Uh-huh. So they're talking to kind of one of my neighbors. Na- no, <laughs> they've engaged with an Amazon driver who's like, you know, double parked and they're kind of talking. Time crunch. I know. I'm like, dude, you, you have to piss on a water bottle. That's how under the fucking gun you are. But you can talk to try to like be a Jehovah's Witness. Yeah. Um. So we're like walking up to the house. I'm like, fuck. And I think, oh, man, we haven't had a deal with these door to door people because COVID for so long. So it's kind of been nice. And I'm like, the, we got, um, you know, we're trying to keep it quiet and everything um, at the house. And I'm like, let me go on and on our doorbell you can put it on silent mode. So it rings on the outside, but it doesn't send it ah, like, okay. like an hour. So I put it on quiet time and I saw him walking up and my wife goes, Oh, they're, they're coming up. Be, <laughs> you know, everybody down, <laughs> you know that, uh, the wife knows the real, she's like, be nice. Mm-hmm. I'm like, Oh, yeah. oh, oh, cause I see him and I'm like, Oh, <laughs> I'll handle this. I'll handle this. <laughs> so I go by the door and, 
they I hear the doorbell ring from the outside, but it doesn't happen on the inside. I'm like, okay, nice, because the dog's gonna go crazy barking, you know. Yeah. And I'm like, maybe they'll just catch the hint and leave. Like no. one, one thousand, two, one thousand, and then I get the door knock. Then the dog fucking starts barking, and so I'm like, now I gotta engage because they're gonna keep going. I open the door. I don't even step outside. I like open the door, kind of like half, like half my body's outside. Like, oh, hi, I'm Jenna, and this is Sheila, and and we're going around, um, seeing if you'd be interested in learning more about the Bible, like Bible. And I'm like, uh, no, thanks. And she continued talking, and I just about face and just like, shut the door. <laughs> I'm like, no thanks. <laughs> so hopefully, they, I'm on some don't do not disturb list. Um, you know, but that's got to be low conversion as well. I, I don't even, yeah. There was one. Maybe I shared it on the show. I was outside, out front, actually working. Like I think you've told this yeah, story before. This guy came up with his daughter, and she was oh. probably like eight or nine. Oh. And they had like the <laughs> the pilgrim looking dress, and you know, like the weird. And oh like, wow! And he was like, "Hey, how you doing?" And I'm like, "Good." And and I was like, so, so then I started walking away because I was like, I don't really want to. Yeah. He was like, "Hey, have you?" Uh, thumb through the Bible. I said, no, I have not thumbed through the Bible. And no, no, I don't want to thumb through the Bible. And he's like, well, <laughs> is there any kind of, uh, um, do you see the world today in any kind of reflections and some of the passages in the Bible? I said, no. You t- and he goes, well, would you, I said, listen, no, I don't want to like, cause he's got his little girl in there. Yeah. So I don't want to don't get the fuck out of here. But I said, no, I'm good. Thanks. He's like, well, if you let me, I'm gonna leave this flash. I said, no, I don't want it. Don't, don't, just no. fire. He's like, oh, okay, thanks for your time. I was like, yeah, okay. And then I was out front, and, and I wasn't thinking about it. They just went to the next house over to go harass them. Yeah. And I was like, are oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me? And I was like, start doing that. <laughs> I was like, can't take a fucking hint. God damn it! Like that is. I did one of those. And, yeah. You know, of course, I got immediately you know, corrected. By the FCC, <laughs> aka the wife, the missus. She's like, "What's wrong with you?" I said, "Well, good." Then, then you should know that this is the house of the of, of the Satan. And don't come back. <laughs> yeah, Satan's penetrated deep in here. So, <laughs> Satan's got five margaritas on this house. Um, <laughs> it's begging me right now. <laughs> ah! The not taking the hint thing is real fucking annoying to me because you know I try to be I'm trying to be nice, right? Like I don't. I don't need to be a total dick. I could be a total dick to these ladies and yell yeah, at them or the, whatever. Not at the gate. I don't want to do that. Yeah, they're but just I'm out like, doing their, I guess, what they're yeah. told. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to be, you know, like, get the fuck off my property. You know, I'm not doing any of that kind of weird shit. But after a while, I was like, no, no, I'm a good. But then he opens the, uh, he has a, like bookmark. He's like opening it up and he's going to thumb it through. I said, no, 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 no. What's going to start? Oh, like he's going to take some time to, to yeah, read drop it to a me. couple no, verses on you? Yeah. I'm carrying a ladder, dude. What do you think? I'm going to stop, put the ladder down, and sit sit down and have you explain it to me? I want to know. Like, who's taking him up on this? I'm sure he gets the people that are like the opposite of us. They just have to kind of engage with, yeah, somebody like that, and we'll kind of hear him out and stuff. But how much time can you sink into the? I wonder. Like, I always know. Like, I wonder why. I assume it's just so they can get more. Uh, attendance so they can collect yeah. more money at the end of the day realistically yeah i mean is. that's yeah that's what they're doing <laughs> their own crusade but <laughs> but, but oh, come on and with the kid too yeah yeah i know i was like wait a minute don't don't even I, i'll you, if she came up here i'd tell her no <laughs> don't even think don't even think of it. yes My don't think you're gonna bounds yeah no bounds and also, like, how bad for the kid that your dad's fucking dragging you around to this. My kids won't even go. Sunday morning. I can't try to convince my kids to, like, go to Target. They're like, well, can if we go, can we get ice cream? I'm like, no, ice cream just doesn't. It can't happen, like, every single day, just willy-nilly, <laughs> like, multiple times. And th- this guy's dragging his kid around, like, door to door in the heat, trying to read him Bible verses. Oh, we went out to dinner the other day, and the boys were like, no, nah, I'll just stay here. I was like, Really? <laughs> Shit, when I was a kid, I was the first one in the car. Yeah. Interesting. Like, nah, I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> Cheaper for me. Sounds like a date night then. 
You get there, you're like, two margaritas, two margaritas. <laughs> Wait, missing. I'll just roll their uh, roll their tab into the margaritas. <laughs> yes, there will be no cost savings on this trip, but uh, we will take a few pictures. Of margaritas <laughs> just going to my yeah, <laughs> go it. The margaritas, uh, those can get <clears throat> can get a little out of hand if you're not careful. Oh. I mean, spe- especially if you're not uh, not uh, you know trained up on the drinking. Oh yeah, there's, a, there's rookies galore. I can see it. Oh yeah, go and try to go straight from zero to four, just pounding yeah. four. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the tush tonight. Let me just try to load in four <laughs> margaritas to my. Let me just uh, let me just uh, burst your bubble. If someone hasn't been drinking, and then you go, you pour four down. The, you pour four. They're passed out. <laughs> you're, you're, yeah, you're, you're you're dragging them into the bed. They're, they're There's no. <laughs> yeah, the tush is you dragging their tush up the stairs because they're fucking KO'd, <laughs> slumped over your shoulder. Yeah, fireman probably puking down the back down down the back of you. Um, yeah, that okay. Well, sinister Cindy. We'll, we'll I'm sure we'll see you around, but the I think the song probably gonna be on the charts soon. It's Harry Styles, be. and then one the Margarita song. Right there you go. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Harry Styles. <laughs> That's my prediction. Did you see he's rumored to be the halftime show for the upcoming Super Bowl? Where is an upcoming Super Bowl? I don't know. Hmm. I'm sure we could figure it out somehow. But um, do you think uh, he's... Um, I'd equate him a little bit to kind of like a David Bowie type character, like kind of androgynous, doesn't mind you know wearing more uh, you know what some people would say is like a feminine or women's clothes or whatever. He like rocks dresses and shit. He's, he's yeah. definitely uh, pushes the boundaries. These uh, NFL people, if, if they're getting upset about a Bud Light can. It's in Vegas. <sighs> oh, the Vegas Raiders. That's right. I wow. forgot about that. It is in Vegas. Yeah. Do they have a new stadium or it's going to be finished up this year or something? No, they got a new stadium. They oh, they got, got a new a one. Couple years. It's a nice stadium. Nice. The A's are, are running into trouble with their. Uh, oh, I know. It's getting, well, getting I mean, stalled. I, the A's. <laughs> they, they, they're just trying to get the brand new stadium, and they're still gonna. That guy's that owner. Manfred needs to step in and just take the goddamn team away from him. Yeah, there needs to be a forced like. It's bad for business, and when I say it's like bad for the product and your the product brand. being yeah, baseball. Brand. If you have these fucking. Anchors wearing you down that in, in, in huge markets, the Bay Area, <laughs> like you're, t- I mean, that's a and, huge market. And try to move them to Vegas, which is like, I think they said like Vegas was like the 41st, like, you know, when they ranked the yeah you know, markets, they're like ranked like 41. Oakland's like number six or some shit like that. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what. And then if he's, if this guy's so rich, why does he have to get taxpayer help to Build a stadium. He should I be think, able to. Do I his swear own thing. they were in like the top ten of profitable teams last year. Well, they have to be. They're like operating expenses. Barely <laughs> <I know. anything. laughs> They're penny pension on like paper towels and toilet paper for the bathrooms. Yeah, I know. I don't know. They, they just. I mean, they're so bad. Well, I mean, they beat up on the Pirates yesterday. I think today too. But wow, on a hot one, really on one they, now. They're just so bad. It's like I don't even know. If that's a Triple A team out there. <laughs> they should do it like um you know in soccer uh and like you know those the premier league every year like the worst one or two teams from the like a the what would be the majors goes down and then the top other teams move up so there's constantly like cycling around <laughs> so the ace river cats are river cats are a pro team now and you, some triple a team that would be uh that would be pretty cool i think I wonder how that would work for the farm system, though. It's like... Yeah, it's, totally it's, fuck it up. <laughs> the Giants need to call up the somebody from the Rivercats. <laughs> yeah. He's, start, he's playing against them. Just walk across the field. <laughs> Just go in through the clubhouse tunnel and then go and come up out yeah, outside the dugout. <laughs> uh, be, uh, yeah, baseball, I guess with the minor league system, it kind of, you don't really uh, need that. But there, I... N- the A's aren't contributing to exciting baseball that's no they, their their attendance is horrid oh my and god the, and the way they police the 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 crowd I've out seen. there it's like what the fuck are you doing 
I seen that. sit down. It's like, what, there's not a soul in sight. What are you talking about? Sit down. I think I saw that clip too. They're like, <clears throat> this guy's like zooming in. He's like, look, they're going to tell this guy. And he's, he's, he's leaning against the rail. And I'm, I'm not joking. In the entire three sections around him, there was not one person. Not a person not in one sight person. of the camera. Besides the, the lady walking over there, go yell at him. And the, the, two, the two dudes standing there talking to him. Yeah, to go sit down or something. It's like, really? Oh, who, who am I impeding? Traffic? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they they kind of don't let you... I'm not saying you buy like the $5 ticket and you can sit behind home plate, you know, yelling at the umpire. But, you know, if there's plenty of space now and you want to move up and get a, a cooler low seat, like yeah. what, who, who are you hurting? You're not hurting anybody <laughs> on, on that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Uh, but they don't miss crime. Yeah. Yeah. They don't, uh, they don't allow that um, either, but <clears throat> I, don't, uh, I don't know. Hot off the wire here. Hold on a second. Oh. oh. Did you see, did you see um, the Braves game yesterday or at least any of the clips? No. So they're playing the Mets. Oh, and Pete Alonso. So they hit a two and homer, and then they hit another two and homer. Pete Alonso said, uh, throw, "Throw it that, again, throw it I, again, yeah, okay, please yeah. throw it again." So then they blew the lead, and they were saying it back. So now, hot off the wire, my dad just texts me, "Take a guess, uh, who got hit his first at bat, and now he's <laughs> X rays on his hand." <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I just texted I said, Alonzo. He's like, bingo. <laughs> uh oh. I think his I think his comment was, uh, I don't think he wants that pitch shown again. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. He was doing the he was doing the uh, a lot of humping. Did you oh, see yeah, those yeah. clips he was of like him? Mr. Humper, yeah. <laughs> that guy. He would like get up on the side of the thing and and literally he's giving it all he's got. You know, giving you know it a couple you know good strokes. Drives me, what drives me nuts? Uh, Kyle Schwarber. They celebrate that guy. <sighs> Like like he's Jesus Christ that's taken left field. <laughs> and he's batting a buck seventy one. Oh my god. Is he on what's he on the Phillies now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Who's that big old dude on the he's he's Bro just crew. Yeah. He's a he's a he probably weighs three forty. What's that dude's name? He's oh, a, you're talking about you're talking about the Mets. Uh yeah. Uh Danny Vulgan, Burgers. Uh, yeah. Vogel, Vogelback, yeah. Vogelback. That dude's a fucking unit. They're like it was like, I, like they do this thing where it's like uh, Danny Burgers is up the bat. They're like he's two hundred fifty pounds of pure cheeseburgers. <laughs> he looks like he's on a beer league softball team. He does. He he certainly isn't what I would say is uh, an stereotypical the guy athlete. From, uh, Milwaukee. Oh, uh, that guy's pretty. Uh... But there hasn't been a lot. You know, I would say the last big baseball player would be your your Cecil Fielders or um like Rowdy Tellez. T- That's the guy I was thinking of originally. Oh. He's from Elk Grove. Oh. Elk Grove, huh? He is a big dude. There was a thing uh how big is he? I don't know what he weighs. He's six oh six four two seventy. <laughs> That's a big boy. And uh he was at second base and the, they like picked over a second base. And he slid back and he's like, he told the pitch. He's like, I think he said, what the fuck are you doing? I'm fat. <laughs> 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 the pitcher started laughing. He's like, I'm fat. <laughs> yeah. This guy's not swiping bags left and right. No. And wasting, close. especially in this uh, era of uh, limited pickovers. <laughs> yeah. You wasted one on him. You're wasting one on that. Just case there's a base hit, he was gas. He couldn't because he had to dive back. He couldn't make it to home. I guess maybe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a good. Yeah, get him gassed from having to be uh, be agile and, and dive back in. Who who was the last? We got Cecil Fielder. Who was a who was the last like big, really uh, out of shape? Uh, the pitcher we threw that perfect game. Uh, Wells. Oh, David Wells. David Wells. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he was Cologne. Come on. You can't oh, okay. Big Cologne. sexy. That's true. Pitchers. Big, I feel big like sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Big sexy, that's right. Pitchers, I feel like you get a little bit of a pass because you're really only working like one or two days a week. Yeah, you get, but like a position player, 
position player. Was Mo Vaughn? He wasn't. Oh, like, yeah. He was a big guy. Was he? I remember his, he had that weird stance. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Dave Ortiz was pretty big, too. Yeah. I guess CC Zabathia was, was also, he, yeah, was he was pretty big, big back he in the day. Big. But um, he's, he's shredded now. Yeah. He's, uh, what did he go, like vegan or something? I don't know. I think so. Something like that. Interesting. Did he? He probably had the diabetes. I would think. He was pretty big. Yeah. Well, I think he's like six eight. So he he's had to be like three something. Oh, for sure. And he's he's a he's Vallejo guy, right? Yeah. Yep. Nice. Angel saw... Hernandez cr- critic. <laughs> he's what? The Angel Hernandez critic. Oh yeah. <laughs> Who is it? The guy fucking sucks. <laughs> Remember he said that interview or some shit. You can find I, I don't give a fuck. He sucks. <laughs> I did see some clip that was like Angel Hernandez most fuck it calls ever and it was just like <laughs> 10 of the worst fucking strikeout calls that were just those the, those clips were just like fuck it Javi Valle's clips and yeah. it's like him swinging at one it's like 8 feet in the dirt <laughs> those make me laugh every time I know I'll, okay now that I know you like them I'll start sending them sending <laughs> okay, the, I, I, I always forget to send them to you yeah. I sent one to my dad because he thought it was hilarious oh, but so good those are does make me giggle every time I see Those it. Are so good. Just like the... And the music that plays with it is just... <laughs> <laughs> I love how the umpires are getting roasted properly, as they should, but um, with no repercussions, so I guess they, they'll be fine. So Andrew Hernandez isn't in the... He hasn't... He, he, he umpired the Giants game, like the first... Oh, yeah, I heard he, he hasn't, hasn't been... been since. Interesting. He hasn't been in it even now? Yeah, I don't. I don't think I've seen him. I, I know he had like a, maybe an injury or something, but he's like basically disappeared off of the face oh. of the earth. Wow. Maybe there is a god, and he is not an Angel Hernandez fan. <laughs> no, he's not. It's like I know your name's Angel and all, but that's not really gonna. That's not. It's not gonna get you too many points. <laughs> was it uh, Lucifer was Angel in point? Was it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a good point. I thought it was. Remember when he sued baseball because they, because the uh, they discriminated against him because he's Hispanic. <sighs> what a horrible! What an embarrassing <laughs> turn of events for him too. First off, it's, it's the wrong sport, I think, to be pulling that card. And, I mean, he's he clearly doesn't have the um, self reflection abilities to understand. No, that. it's not like your scorecard was perfect. If it was, if it was like you know, he was. You know, call ninety nine percent right. You know, then fine. But <laughs> this yeah. wasn't even. This was like in the eighties. I know. And um, so basically, what happened with that lawsuit is that the MLB's like, well, actually, here's all your performance reviews, and you've not been doing a great job. Yeah. <laughs> you've not been doing a great job, and that was just like uh, they had to put it out there because he was he kept going with his uh, discrimination thing. Yeah, that was that was that was, yeah. uh, that was weird. He was like, I was I was passed over. Passed over for the World Series and all these, all these other. Passed over to do better. Yeah, <laughs> do better. Well, at least Joe West is is out of there, and hopefully the Umps have been on a fucking tear this year with the Ump Show, though. Yeah, they've been. I mean, there's there's actually some good umpires. Obviously, you don't hear about them. Yeah. I, you know what? It's probably one of those posi- you know those jobs where it's like Unsung, I probably yes. shouldn't know your name. If I if I know your name, you you probably suck. Yeah, we don't pay, uh, you know, we're not slugging down $17 beers at AT&T Park to watch the umpires call balls and strikes. No, and give somebody a quick hook for something, you know, because they gave you a side eye. Yeah. Because <laughs> you called the balls in the dirt, they gave you a side eye, and said, what the fuck? And then you're like, oh, you're out of here. <laughs> Wait a minute, what? And they are getting really soft. I wonder if they, they're probably all colluding, like, oh, we got to nip all this uh, bullshit in the bud. And Drew's just got a just quick fig, tr- quick triggers just tossing left and right. I see Aaron Boone's been tossed like a million times already. This yeah, I know. he's he's uh... every other day. <laughs> every other day he's going in to get uh he's getting hosed, he's getting ran by some umpire. Um, I saw some of the uh, John Boy does the best with oh he does like the lip reading when they're arguing back and forth with the umpire. Some of it yeah. is too good. I'm just fucking helping you. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I I would love. I mean, obviously they can't do it because it's too too much, uh, too too risky. But if they had them mic'd up and to hear 
I would pay ten dollars a month just to have like the uh, yeah. explicit version. Thing. Yeah. Well, that's the thing when they have like it drives me crazy. Like the first time I I saw where they have like a player mic'd up in the middle of the game. It was yeah. like the playoff game. It was like it was Oakland, and uh, this is back when before they really took a turn. But they're playing the White Sox, and they mic'd up uh, the center fielder Liriano, and they're like, "We have him so he mic'd up," and I was like, "Um." Uh, sorry, one second. Yes. So, um, so they, so they had him mic'd up, and I was like, "That is the worst idea." Because first off, he's trying to play a fucking game. He has somebody talking in his ear, right? And then, on top of that, I was like, <laughs> "You're gonna hear a hot mic, dude." Yeah, That's and dangerous. then it was, it was not like, not like maybe like three minutes after that, a shot in the gap, and he's like running, he's like, "Oh shit!" And he's actually running. He's like. <laughs> Yeah, he turns around and he's like, oh, he's a fast motherfucker, and he throws the ball, and they're like, oh, I'm sorry, sorry, folks, we didn't, I was like, what do you mean? I mean, you didn't, you didn't have him on delay, at least? <laughs> yeah, there's got to be, where's the producer on that? You got to be running a, a, at least a, a one or two second delay on that one. That's the craziest thing, I'm like, what are you guys doing? Just, I, there was one, there was a Giants game this year where they, like, went into the dugout, like, with the camera, and they're like, I can't believe what kind of fucking horse shit, and they're like, they cut away real quick, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, no. Or yeah, they pan in there and some guy's just fucking guy like, digging scratching in his brain, like digging his nose or throwing a huge dip in or something. Those are always the good ones. Yeah. Too bad they don't they have try to the, they don't have uh what's his name? They have ripping heaters. Oh, Jim Leland down. Jim there. Leland yeah, just, ripping yeah. heaters. <laughs> just <laughs> just on a, the bench. <laughs> I gotta sh- I gotta say to this story. Ryan Dempster was talking and he was in Detroit said they're getting their ass kicked like sixteen to four. Yeah. And some well, some of the some other dudes like cracked a joke and he started laughing and he said he's like he was ripping a heater and he got pissed and he threw it down and then walked away and he's like oh shit we're screwed <laughs> he said they came in there and he's like the next time we're getting our asses fucking embarrassed and if you want to crack jokes you pitchers all of you out here so fucking fast your head's gonna <laughs> spin so then he said he left Ryan Dush was like oh it's getting up and the guy's like wait a minute he's coming back and then he like he like kicked the door open it's like yeah another thing and then he's like <laughs> then he said he said he did it five times oh shit and then he, he said, just well, kept coming back yeah he said the last time he's like alright guys I'm done I'm done I'm gonna go into my office have a whiskey and a cigar and if I come out and there's one of you motherfuckers sitting here I'm gonna call the police and say that there's an imperson- there's an a- there's someone impersonating a major league fucking baseball player. <laughs> They're like nobody showered, and we just got their shit and left. They just left. <laughs> They're like, I'll just yeah, see ya. <sighs> a whiskey and a cigar. I guess he wasn't feeling quite quite enough uh, <laughs> lung issues with the ciggy, so he's he's, he's still, still alive too. Up. You think of all the people, he's still alive. He's still alive. Oh yeah, he's like he was just on the some some fucking. I think he works for somebody as a consultant. Oh yes, yeah. CSN Pittsburgh area local. Uh, well, I think he like works thing. with a team. I think he's either the Brewers. Oh, okay, or, yeah. Because they're you know ex- chief executive talent, whatever the whatever it is. Some made up title. Yeah. I saw Poolhouse just got some title like assistant to the commissioner's office or some yeah, something like that. So it's just some throwaway title. Let me see what I'm like. Remember when Poolhouse? lied about his age and we're just like oh, okay with that all of a sudden yeah, i know <laughs> he was he's okay mlb hires pool host as special assistant he's been named special assistant to major league baseball commissioner rob manfred will focus on player relations with his mm. native dominican republic the league announced this morning in a press release oh he's also going to join mlb network as an honor analyst um across multiple programs oh okay how much do you think he, how much do you think that job pays i don't know i was just thinking about that i was like he's probably this is like the new age body bonilla he's just gonna collect the check and <laughs> yeah what's his pull his price i mean he made plenty of fucking money yeah, oh yeah that's that contract the angels gave him oh yeah yeah where's uh Okay, here's uh, here's some of Pool Hose's. Uh, <clears throat> in 2004, so his fourth year, he started in 2001. He he started making, he was making league league minimum. Then he made seven million, and it only went up from there. His last uh, 
with the with the um angels he was making 25 million 26 million 27 million 28 29 30 he was 41 making 30 million dollars uh and then he played a the contract he had with the cardinals he made two and a half million so his career to date 350 million i'll take that so he doesn't i guess he doesn't need the money so how do they what are they just a million dollars or they just give him like is he like two hundred thousand? What? Do you, how much do you pay somebody? I'm gonna like say that? it's like two fifty. It's gotta be somewhere yeah. around there. Yeah, just like oh, here's two fifty, and he gets. It's just like a, it's it's like a some joke of a job thing. Yeah, he gets of, to be right? the face of you know whatever. Yeah. He doesn't money. Yeah, money doesn't seem. He's he's all set on that. He's a like he's you know he's a likable guy. So yeah, you know everyone yeah he'll, he'll be fine. Plus, he had his. I mean, I don't think Pete Rose is gonna get a job like that anytime soon. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Pete Rose was, didn't he? He's Pete Rose doesn't do himself any favors with his endorsement deals. Like, didn't he sign with like DraftKings or one of these like gambling <laughs> sites? I like, dude, you can't. I mean, I don't know. What do you? I, you <laughs> I don't think it was DraftKings, but but you get what I'm saying. He, yeah, uh, yeah. You know, <clears throat> probably should have steered away from some of that stuff. But um, but yeah. Oh, man, I don't know. That's a that's a good gig. I gotta I gotta find myself a gig like that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, get a fat contract like Strasburg and then get hurt. <laughs> Collect that sweet sweet checks in at home. And Degrom, Degrom's uh, Degrom, yeah. he's Degrom, he's uh, out for the out for the whole year. He's got getting Tommy John, I believe, right? Yeah, I know. I mean, that guy is like he's he's electric when he pitches, but you're gonna get like eight games out of him. <laughs> eight games. <laughs> Couple starts. He's good for a couple starts. He would drive Leland uh, Nessus going crazy. Okay. So, throw some in a dog. <laughs> Always on the 68, 60 day IL. Um, let me. Oh, man. He only had two. He only appeared in six games this year, 30 innings. <sighs> yeah, that's tough. Oh, man. Yeah, since 2020, he's uh, he's been on an injury kick. Oh, he won the oh, he won the Cy Young two years, two times Cy Young winner. The How did I can, not know that? The guy can throw on the Mets. He throws like 101 or something. You know, it's just I don't know if his arm can handle handle it. Yeah, apparently not. Let's see what's his uh, what's his salary situation. <laughs> He's, he ain't hurting. $40 million a year this guy's making. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's going to... He has a, has a great deal with the Rangers. He's making $30 million this year, but he's done. His year's over, but he's got $30 million in the bank. Oh. Then next year, $40 million, then $40 million. Oh, wow. boy. That's... That's some serious coin. A lot of margaritas you can buy with $40 million. <laughs> <clears throat> it's a lot. Two margaritas going to yeah, put it in my puss. Put it in my puss. I can't get that song in my head. It's just like constantly, it's just looping in there. <laughs> I, I know it does. <laughs> and then it makes me have an impulse to go watch it again. Yeah. Four margaritas going to put it in my tush. It's a banger. That's what we do here. We bring you the heat at the Chip and Cern show. Um, but yeah, anthem of the summer. Everybody. Anthem of the summer. It's going to be blaring from your 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 Bose speakers. Your Bose. <laughs> I wonder what the neighbors uh, would think if I start just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like oh yeah, this song's cool, and they're like and they start listening like huh. Um, but yeah, Fourth of July party. We're saying Margarita Machine. There you go. I, that's that's I could get <laughs> four drink minimum. Get. <laughs> four four is the floor and the ceiling on drinks uh, <laughs> there's no you four and you're done Just you cut off them. or cut off yeah you're cut off right there four margaritas you always have a little bit of a whiskey dick too potentially which well, that, that is true then it could not that, that's work against whole, you then yeah like, no, i've been undone but my own my own doing <laughs> I out margarited myself. I got it done. I, I, I did it. Out margarited myself. But 
Uh, you know, look really sharp this summer while you're outland by the pool is a nice Chip and Cern show hat, and we'll just give it to you. Just the email us at Chip and Cern show at gmail dot com, and we can send yeah. it right out, right in the USPS Postal Service mail. There you go. We'll send it right over, and uh, you know, if you're feeling real sporty, go on iTunes and throw us uh, one of those reviews on there. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I don't know. Do we even have a review? I mean, however you consume your podcast, just throw a review out. Oh yeah, it's a little Spotify, whatever, whatever you do. We know everyone's a little bit different, but anywho, I think uh, that about does it for this week. Let us know how you're getting on with the margarita song and how many margaritas it inspires you to. Get down. <laughs> Get down. Tell dirty. us what. You, yeah, you tell us. You tell us what margarita it is. But uh, until next time, I'm Chip. I'm Cern. Cheers. <laughs>